Hi guys, welcome to our section how to calculate the profitability index in Excel. Let's do it. First of all, what is a profitability index? It's also called the benefit cost ratio and it's just basically a tool to rank projects. Remember when we were doing the net present value? Well, it's very similar to it and it's just extremely easy to use. So let's do it. The profitability index formula is going to be the present value of all the cash flow that you're going to have for your project divided by the initial investment. You need to remember, if the PI or the result that you get here is less than zero, if you get like 0 0.2 or like a decimal, you need to reject the project. It makes sense. That tells me that the initial investment is actually higher than the present values that you're, that you're going to be obtaining for your investment. If it's equals to zero, that means that you're breaking even. And if it's greater than zero, you want to accept the project because that means that you're going to be making money. Let's do an example. You are considering a project with initial cash, uh, cash outlay of 87,000 and expected cash flows of 26,970. At the end of the year for six years, they tell me the discount rate is 9.8%. Find the profitability index. Let's do it in Excel. Okay, so now we can go ahead and find the PI here in Excel. We have the investment, the rate, and then I have put all the cash flows here. So remember, the formula is equals to the present values of cash flows over the investment. So let's do it. On the top, what I can do is just to use the net present value function in Excel. Look, I just put rate, comma, then I put all the values, and that's going to give me the present value. Be very careful. This is not the net present value. Even though Excel tells you that this is net present value, remember the net present value, you will have to subtract the amount that you just got uh, with the investment. But since we just want the present value of the cash flows, I just do a net present value, I use a function. Then the investment is going to be 87,000. Finally, I just divide these two guys and I get that the PI is 1.35. Or you can just round it off to two decimals and it's 1.36. And that's it. You did an amazing job again. Please don't forget to watch our other videos and also thanks so much for learning.